Hello, Bond fans! So, you know, James Bond's introduction is so famous, so iconic, so well known that it's practically impossible in this day and age to introduce yourself with, you know, the uh, surname. Forename, surname. Without uh, getting at least, you know, a, a knowing look or glance. Can I help you? Yes, my name is Bond. 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 James Bond. What of it? And with our favourite secret agent meeting a completely new barrage of beautiful women and dastardly villains in every film in the series, there are plenty of opportunities for him to deliver that famous introduction to varying degrees of coolness and cheesiness, but which Bond had it down, which Bond said it the best? Well, that's what I'm going to be looking at today, as I count down my own top ten personal deliveries of the most famous introduction in movie history, Bond. James Bond. Starting with the dishonourable mention, and, eh, and to be honest, there's a couple that I'd like to roast here, and both of them are Connery ones, who certainly had a mixed bag of introductory lines, but by far the worst was Never Say Never Again. Hello again. I do owe you an explanation. My name is Bond, James Bond. The intonation is just all over the place. It sounds like he's doing an impersonation of some, like, California Valley girl from the 1990s. But then he is in a video game arcade for this scene, so maybe that's intentional? But of the official series, without doubt, Diamonds Are Forever is the weakest. Not because of Connery, per se, but more because of whatever weird sound editing took place. Who are you? My name is Bond. James Bond. It sounds so choppy and unnatural, it's quite a disappointment for Connery's last official turn as 007. Oh, by the way, we haven't been properly introduced, Melina. My name is Bond. James Bond. But let's not dwell, and on to the positives. And indeed, it's a positive, practically jaunty version of the introduction which makes up my honourable mention. Fiore's Only is known as the most serious Roger Moore Bond film, but it has one of the jolliest deliveries of the famous line in the series. Bond and Melina have just evaded a load of baddies and are having a laugh or two while doing so, so it makes sense that Bond would introduce himself with a smile on his face. It's just a real happy moment, and Moore looks like he's genuinely enjoying himself here. I like it a lot, but not quite as much as these next ten. Number ten. I'm not sure if technically this one really counts, as Bond doesn't even really get to deliver the full thing, but oh, I, I just love it. By the way, my name is Bond. Um, you... As quickly as possible. It gets a laugh out of me every time. I love this scene with Bond trying to charm Tilly Masterson, but she's just not having any of it. <laughs> He's about to turn on the ultimate charm and use his line. By the way, my name is Bond. Um, you... And she cuts him off. Very funny. Number nine. My name's Bond. James Bond. Yes, the best Roger Moore Bond introduction is also his first. To say the filmmakers were so intent on moving away from a lot of the uh, trademark Connery Bond-isms, it's a testament to how much the Bond-James Bond introduction transcends the actors playing Bond that they've actually all had the opportunity to utter it. In this version, Bond is introducing himself to Solitaire. There's the perfect pause in between the words, there's the music seeping in as he delivers the line. It's so cool. It's a really, really wonderful delivery. Number eight. Along similar lines, it's quite something that George Lazenby's delivery of the line is amongst his very first bits of dialogue in the film. To say the promotional material for the Connery films were always so proud to proclaim that Sean Connery is James Bond, it's quite bold of the filmmakers to say, oh, yeah, that guy? Yeah, no, 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 he's, he's not Bond anymore, but this guy, this guy, he's Bond now. Good morning. My name's Bond. James Bond. It's another sort of jovial delivery of the line, with a smile on Lazenby's face and good humour in his tone. It's uh, quite a dramatic shot, too. It's the first clear view we get of the new Bond of the time, which makes it all the more bold. In a way, almost jarring. We've not even seen this guy do much, and yet we're told up front, he's the hero, he's James Bond, get over it. I think it makes a, a nice contrast to an introduction coming up later on this list, but before that we have number seven. Number seven. In stark comparison with the more light-hearted deliveries of the line so far, Dalton's um, turn as Bond is kind of, uh, he like, aggressively spits the words out, like he's upset he even has to say them. 
Who are you? Bond. James Bond. It sets up Dalton's Bond very nicely and kind of sets up Dalton himself. From this particular delivery, we know that the tone of this movie is going to be very different to the uh, more movies. Dalton will say the lines, he'll say the quips, but he'll chew them up and spit them out when he does. I love how kind of disinterested he is when he says it too. At this point, the franchise had been going for, you know, 25 years. We all know what to expect from a Bond film. And I kind of like that for this particular film, they just sort of toss it off like it's nothing. But that doesn't mean to say I don't love the more dramatic deliveries of the line too. Number six. Number five. Bond. James Bond. The name's Bond. James Bond. Yeah, I can't decide which of these two versions I like the best, and they're kind of very similar, so I guess it's a tie. Both have Bond in a smoky environment, talking to a femme fatale, and pretty much all ambient noise is muted when Bond takes his paws. They both have a very classic feel to them, but there's... Obviously one of the Bond, James Bond, that takes the smoky casino crown. Number four. And it's the very first introduction, the first full clear shot of James Bond's face and the accompanying line that made movie history. I admire your luck, Mr... Bond. James Bond. It's such a cool moment, so I was really quite surprised when um, I heard an interview with director Terence Young where he was talking about how the scene was timed as such to get a laugh um, out of the audience. Like, like the, the thing with Connery delivering line, flipping the lighter closed, was apparently supposed to be humorous, or at least that's what Young has, uh, uh, you know, uh, admitted to in interviews, which I find kind of strange. That it's not as if it's a funny moment, is it? I don't know, whenever I read or listen to interviews with Terence Young, there are times when I feel like there's a bit of ass covering going on on his part, to be perfectly honest. To say he is labelled as a director of more serious Bond films, he always kind of talks about the films in a very uh, frivolous way. I don't know if he's just uncomfortable with admitting that there is a degree of cheese involved with the Bond series, so he just passes it all off as, yeah, well, I was trying to be funny. But of all the scenes to imply that he was intending for comedy, Connery's introduction in Doctor No is one of the coolest moments in cinema history and I'm hardly slapping my knee when he says Bond. James Bond. It makes you smile, sure, but only because it's kind of impossible for this particular shot to ooze any more cool all over the place. In fact, it doesn't just ooze cool, it kind of splurges cool all over your face and then rubs it in. And while I personally have three more preferred Bond James Bond line deliveries in the series, this is undoubtedly the one that has and will remain a part of cinema history. Number three. Who is this? Okay, so going back to my Majesty's Secret Service point, rather than introduce Craig up front at the start of the film and have him proclaim, you know, I'm Bond, James Bond, in his first few minutes on screen, Casino Royale made a point of building to the moment, and probably because for much of this film, Bond is not the Bond we know and love. Often referred to as Bond Begins, Casino Royale, of course, shows Bond picking up little nuggets of his cinematic identity as the film goes on, culminating in the introduction as the very last line of the film. The name's Bond. James Bond. And unlike Lazenby, who I guess, you know, a certain section of the audience, I'm sure, you know, after Lazenby delivered the line, would have been going like, hang on a minute, dude, you know, I mean, you're not Bond, you're not Bond yet, you know, you need to prove yourself, you need to, you know, earn this. And I, I guess, you know, Craig has spent over two hours of this film earning his stripes, and really, you know, after seeing what Bond goes through throughout Casino Royale, seeing him grow and seeing him learn and kind of discover himself, he really earns the right to say that line and the audience leave the cinema with smiles on their faces. Number two. Purists will hate me for this, I'm sure, but as far as a visceral thrill, j just, I, nothing can be this introduction for that kind of just like, oh, just fanboy. Ah. So you're a British spy. Do you have a name? My name's Bond. James Bond. 
Okay, yes, so there's so much cheese here, you need, like, a ton of salted crackers to consume it all, but, oh, it's just fun, isn't it? I mean, the line is almost always delivered in a quiet moment, in a casino, in a hotel, during a nice little dialogue scene, but here it's slap bang in the middle of an action bit, and the Bond theme blaring in the middle is just, oh, I love it, it's so geeky. So you're a British spy. Do you have a name? My name's Bond. <laughs> James Bond. Truth be told, when I started this list, I intended on putting this as number one, but watching that little clip over a couple of times in, in such close proximity, sort of analyzing it, you know, those few seconds, something really tiny got to me, and it's Brosnan's accent. It's a weird kind of, like, American pronunciation, isn't it? Like, Bond. Like, it's, no, no, it's Bond. James Bond, not Bond. Like, I, I mean, Brosnan's accent is kind of all over the place anyway at times, and, you know, maybe part of that is, you know, the Irish, Irish guy. Um, but as, as far as just pure kick-ass delivery goes, I just, I just love this one. Number one. Who are you? Bond. James Bond. There is so much going on in this particular delivery that I just adore. It's almost a disinterested delivery. Bond's attention is not really on the girl, he's observing the scene, understanding how Goldfinger has been cheating at cards, so there's a, a nice bit of intrigue in his tone, but there's also a little bit of humour and admiration, almost, as if he's thinking, clever man, Goldfinger. I just love how Connery conveys so much in that tiny, in, in the matter of, you know, seconds. And then there's the mechanics of the shot too, the slow pan, Connery walking in, the music starting up, everything about that shot is just perfect. While I don't think it's seen as uh, such an, uh, an iconic moment as the Doctor No introduction, I think this is Connery's best delivery of the line and one of my favourite moments of one of the best films in the series. And that's it for now, Bond fans. So, as always, fascinating to know what you guys think. I mean, did I miss any, uh, you know, uh, amazing deliveries in this top ten? These were just the ones that immediately came to my mind when doing this video. So, always interested to know what everyone else has to think about this particular subject. Please leave your comments below, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, Bond fans, so long for now.